The shoulder pads are strong with this Megs. Oops, I called him Megs. Are we not supposed to call him Megs? Oh no, run before the comment section gets us! Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Megatronus. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here you have Megatronus looking all fierce, in case you forgot, his name is Megatronus. Hey, look, it's Megatronus. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shot, seven steps, and you have the instructions right there on the back. And if you have the app, you can scan the toy and unlock stuff in the game, and that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along here, we have Warrior Class Megatronus. Now, this is not the uh, the Toys R Us exclusive version. This is the regular release version. I have yet to find the Toys R Us version because my Toys R Us sucks. Uh, <laughs> my Toys R Us is still on Wave 1 of Combiner Wars, so yeah, my, my Toys R Us sucks. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so here he is in his tank mode, and his tank mode is 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 weird. It's just, it's weird because there's no... <laughs> There's there's no real body to the tank. It's just a turret and treads. Like there's no there's no meat to this tank. It's just got a, a I don't know. It's just it's just weird to me. I don't know. I I I don't know. It it, it look it just looks weird to me anyway. If this doesn't look weird to you, cool. But it looks weird to me. I don't know. I don't get it. But um yeah, um the turret can rotate, which is nice. Um it actually does roll quite well. That's four little wheels on the bottom. And, um, yeah. I'm getting close here. Uh, not a lot by way of molded detail. Not a lot by way of paint, either. But, you know, what's there is there. You get some purple down the, uh, down the cannon right here. You do get some blue around here. You do get some more purple back here. See the back of Megatronus' head right there. So it's kind of visible head syndrome going on. Um, see the uh, treads right there. Nothing's painted on the treads. Um, except this little... Silver bit right here. On the back, you can see a little bit of purple in the back. And yeah, that's pretty much it right there. What you see is what you get. It's a tank with a with a bayonet, which is, you know, kind of overkill. But hey, it's Megatronus. To him, ain't no such thing as overkill. But there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with Optimus Prime. So you can see... How they look together, how they scale with each other. Right there. There you have that. Uh, here he is with Warrior Class Bumblebee. So you can see how he scales there with the Bumblemeister. Right there. There you have that. And here he is with Steeljaw. So you can see how he scales there. So there you have that. And here he is with the giant <laughs> three-step Megatronus here. You can see how that works. So, there you go. Now, that's pretty much it for alt mode. I mean, pretty much what you see is what you get. It rolls, turret turns, the end. <laughs> It's pretty much it. What you see is what you get. So let's get right down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So first thing you want to do is you want to come back here to the rear part of the tread. You just want to take this and bring this around like that. That will tab in there. You can take this piece and bring all that down like that. Then you just untab the leg right there. Bring it down, and you're all done. Second verse, same as the first. Untab that. Bring it around, take that purple piece, bring it down, untab the leg, bring it down, extend the leg, and there you go, got the legs all done. Rotate him 180 at the waist, split the cannon down the middle, bring it out to the side, bring up his head, rotate it, and that tab will go into the slot right there. Lock that in place, then you just rotate the shoulders, Right here, bring down the arms. You want to rotate them so the elbow is oriented properly. And then you just come back here. And you flip out his hands. Right here. 
clip out his hand. And there you go. There you have Megatronus in his robot mode. It actually looks pretty cool. Um, you know, as usual, lacking in paint. Um, but, you know, of course, Reaper labels will fix that. <laughs> I've, I've pretty much bought all the uh, Reaper label sets that they've put out for this line um, because they really just work wonders and make the figures look amazing. Um, so if they put out a set for this guy, I'll, I'll buy it. Um, but yeah, there you have Megatronus. Right there, we're getting close here on his head sculpt. It's a pretty good head sculpt. Nice silver paint there, nice red eyes. Now, the difference between this one and the Toys R Us version is that the Toys R Us version has the battle mask down, and this one, as you can see, has the battle mask up, and you can see his face. Um, other than that, I think that's the only real difference with the Toys R Us version, as opposed to this one. It's just having the battle mask either down or up. So there you have that. He has a little bit of mold detail there in his chest, and of course, you have the code there. The, and this is where my tongue stops working. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ah, right there is the sticker that you can scan with the app, and if you have the app, you can go ahead and scan it. Free scan on me. You're welcome. Thank you. But yeah, um, I mean, overall, it's, it's a nice design. Um, of course, you know, he has some hollow going on here. His forearms are pretty pretty thin and kind of hollow. Of course, that's due to transformation because his hands go in there. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. That's the way the line works. Should be used to it by now. <laughs> but there you have that. Some articulation wise, his head is on a ball joint. You don't get a lot of wiggly waggly movement out of it. It goes a little bit from side to side. You can look a little bit up. Not so much down, but a little bit up. Like I said, not too much side to side movement. Of course, it can rotate 360. You can use a transformation joint a little bit, you know, if you want to look even further up, but then that just looks kind of weird, but hey, you can do it. Why not? Um, the shoulders are on a ball joint at the base, like in here, so you do get a little bit of forward and backward movement. Um, you can move the arm outward right here. The This shoulder pad itself, it's actually on a ratchet for some reason. You can kind of angle that however you want. So you have that. Um, you do have a bicep swivel. You do have 90 degrees of elbow bend. And a nice little faux ratchet right there. You do have a waist swivel. Um, hips are on a ball joint. Can go forward. Uh, back only this much just due to this junk on his butt. <laughs> he does have junk in his trunk. Um, outward movement. Yeah, full outward movement there. Thigh swivel. Um, over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. And that's it. His feet don't move at all. There you go. Um, of course, you can leave this little sword weapon here attached to his forearm if you wish. If not, you can just unclip it and put it in his hand as a handheld weapon. So, there you go. There's little Megatronus. Now, for comparison, here he is with Warrior Bumblebee. Right here. Let's see. Uh... Maybe you like a hair shorter than Bumblebee, which kind of bugs me. Right there, here he is with Steeljaw, and taller than Steeljaw. So there you have that, and here he is with Prime. And you can see he's actually shorter than Prime. That I really don't like. <laughs> I said before, I, you know, I, I, I like for these guys at least to be eye to eye, and no, they're, they're not. He's actually shorter than, than Prime. I think on the show he's actually taller than Prime. I forget. I actually don't remember. But um, for me, bare minimum, I want them at least eye to eye, and no, they're it's like eye to, eye to chest. No, no, that doesn't work for me. <laughs> he needs to be just a little bit, little bit taller. So... Uh, what are you going to do? It is what it is. Um, here he is with the uh, Voyager Grimlock from Takara. Just so you can see. How many scales there. And here he is with the giant three-step Megatronus. Right there. There you have that. And, uh, yeah, there you go. There you got a little Megatronus. Um, he's back. <laughs> How do hands work?
sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. Please, please don't kill me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All hail Megatron. That's right, you're not Megatron. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you know that Megatronus isn't Megatron? <laughs> Uh, I did, even though a thousand people felt the need to tell me anyway. But, um, <laughs> don't ever call him Megatron. You will get called out on it. I don't know why, but hey, whatever. Megatronus, that's his name, Megatronus. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. But yeah, um, as far as the figure goes, need a little figure. You know, it's it's your standard, you know, R.I.D. Warrior class figure. Um, not much to it, but again, it's simple, it's fun. Um... But yeah, like, my only real gripe is just, I, I just wish he was taller. You know, the fact that he's actually shorter than Prime, that really majorly bugs me. I just, I want him to just have a little bit more height there, at least eye to eye. How do hands work? I keep knocking him around. <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I want them to at least be eye to eye, and that's my only real gripe about this figure is just, I, I want him to be taller. Um... So, yeah, um, like I said earlier in the video, you know, I, I still haven't found the uh, the Toys R Us exclusive version. And honestly, now that I have this one, I probably am not going to buy the Toys R Us version because, you know, now I don't care because I have the mold now. So, <laughs> if the only difference is just the face mask is down, that's not enough to make me buy it again. So, there you go. There you have... Yo, Warrior Class, Megatronus. And if you would like a Megatronus or any other Robots in Disguise figures, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. And you can also check out my Robots in Disguise playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Robots in Disguise. Skies Warrior Class Megatronus, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face! Ah, Lord Megatronus. Ah, Steeljaw! Why, why are you acting so weird? Um, no reason. Uh, wait, your, 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 your forearm flapped, kind of... Game open there. Let me let me close that for you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that. No problem. Now, why are you acting so weird? No, no reason at all, Lord Megatron. Us. Why do you keep doing that? Uh, no, 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 no reason. No reason at all. Oh, hey there, look. It's Megatron. Us. I'm done the huff. What? Why? Why do you two keep doing that? Because of the Watchers. What? The Watchers, they see all and judge all. They're relentless, remorseless, and they take no prisoners. Ah! There's no greater being than I! That's what you think. The Watchers watch over us all, and they show no mercy. Ah, oh, what does it matter? You're the great Lord megatron -us. You can do whatever you want. I'm on the hoof, bye. I will take my leave as well, Lord Megatron. Megatronus! Megatronus! Megatronus, please, please. Grant me mercy, Watchers! Grant me mercy! I, 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 I will go now. Hmm. Curious. Who's in there? Got any burritos? <laughs>